Hello artist, welcome to another painting process video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Rit. I'm an intuitive artist based in Austria in Europe and on my channel I share my artsy adventures. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down so that I know what you want to see. And of course, I would love for you to subscribe. Today I will be working on these two pieces and I'm starting, as you saw, I have inspiration in my sketchbook. So I feel like I have, I don't want to use the word revolutionized, but I'm gonna. I have revolutionized my painting process to make it the most joyful it can be. My goal is to enjoy every moment that I spend painting and create pieces that I love. Now that first part, well, both parts are not always easy, but the first part is a must. And then the second part is what I hope to achieve most of the time. I don't think you can make pretty art that you love 100% of the time, but I think if you love the process, if you develop your voice and hand, I'm going to call it like that, your artist hand, you know, your sketches, your scribbles, your brush strokes, all that, um, you are much more likely to make art that you love. At least that has been my experience and my journey. And a part of that I want to talk about today is sketching. Now, you probably would say, and I would agree, that my paintings have a very kind of sketchy feel to them. They feel, um, yeah, kind of unfinished. That's personally the look that I love, and they're very loose. I do a lot of, like, scribbles, so there's a lot to be said about having those kind of Elements that are more characteristic of sketches in your paintings. Personally, I love that. But then there's the whole practice of keeping a sketchbook. Now, I have filled a ton of sketchbooks and I love keeping a sketchbook. And probably if you would ask artists, like if you would ask 100 artists, I'm going to guess that 100 are, will tell you that you should keep a sketchbook. And as with everything, this has also been a journey for me. And personally, I don't treat my sketchbooks as the, the goal itself. A lot of artists really love working only in sketchbooks and they create these like masterpieces of sketchbooks. And that's amazing, but that's not my personal experience. Um, I go between wanting to paint in sketchbooks and then wanting to paint uh, on other surfaces. And right now I'm definitely using a sketchbook as an aid to my creative process and not the, the goals. It's, it's a mean to a goal. And a lot of my struggles with keeping a sketchbook were just because... I don't enjoy a lot of the traditional ways of sketching. So everything that has to do with perspective, a scene, kind of capturing a place, all those things, I don't enjoy it. Uh, I've tried so many times. I have really, I have like bookcases full of sketchbooks and it's just a lot of the traditional sketchbook process just didn't work for me. And yesterday I grabbed it, my sketchbook that is, and I started sketching in a different way. So one of the things that really, really annoy me about the process of painting is the whole use of reference photos. And again, if you love reference photos, if that works for you, that's amazing. You do you. I'm sharing what didn't work for me and was a real struggle because mostly what I heard from watercolor artists was, you know, either you paint plain air or you use a reference photo. And since I have small kids and I live in a kind of a little village, it's just my life couldn't really work with a whole plain air. And 
honestly, the whole idea of like that setup is also making my brain hurt, which is maybe something I should tackle, but that didn't work for me. So reference photos were the next best thing. And that meant looking for photos or taking photos and then printing photos or sitting with a photo uh, in front of you while you're painting. And the whole thing just, I did it. I did it for a long time. I have some paintings that I did with that. Um, they're fine, but it just wasn't me. It just didn't, it felt so annoying and cumbersome. And all these like extra steps that I have to take, extra decisions I have to make, uh, that rhymes, uh, it just didn't work for me. And, you know, I just struggled and struggled. And now I am just fully embracing my brain and how my brain likes to work. So I'm working on, as you can see, I think this will be the first time that I share this and hopefully I can make, you know, all the pieces of the puzzle work, but I'm planning to launch a collection of original artwork in February. There, I said it, it's out there. I hope it happens. I, I want it to happen. I'm trying, I'm doing my best, but there are a lot of things to consider here. So. I'm working on the collection. The theme of the collection is summers in the Mediterranean. And this is inspired by my childhood growing up in a sleepy town on the Mediterranean coast and spending my summers there as a child. And then as an adult and as a mother, recent vacations in Greece and then also past travels to the region like the Mediterranean. I love this. This is to me, it's kind of everything I love about summer, about childhood, my childhood, my kids' childhood, and it really allows me to use color in a way that I like. So it's this wonderful mix of color, nostalgia, and yeah, and a topic that is very, very near and dear to me. So that is the theme of the collection. And I have several pieces and if you see something on the screen here or you follow me on Instagram, something that you really love, that you fall in love with, a piece that you want, then please uh, reach out to me. You can email me or DM me on Instagram and let me know if there's a piece you're interested in uh, and I can set it aside for you. And I mean, I just like having my artwork in people's homes is, is such an amazing thing for me and it would be so, so fantastic to have a great home for these paintings. Anyway, moving on. So some of my inspiration is places um, that where I grew up in and I was looking for pictures of Jerusalem. Now, technically, <laughs> Jerusalem, it's not <laughs> on the Mediterranean coast, but you know, you just have to drive half an hour and uh, I went to university there and I lived there for a few years and it's such an amazing, controversial, insane place. Um, and yeah, so I was, I was looking at images on Google. I didn't print anything. I didn't pick anything. I was only looking and I was also looking at pictures of Haifa, which is my hometown, Tel Aviv, Eilat, which is again, it's not on the Mediterranean coast, it's on the Red Sea. But to me, in my head, it's all, um, I really love, I'm, an artist that I'm greatly inspired by is Mar Marc Chagall. And he has this, his paintings are just like a dream, right? It's just a combination of things, things floating in the air, goats with violins, all those things. And I really love that because I feel that's how my mind is <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> and also I think just that's memories, right? They are like jumbled and there are things that stay with you and then things that are completely, completely forgotten. So all of this like long, <laughs> chatty thing to say that I was sitting with my sketchbook, just a pencil, because again, choosing supplies can really stop me from doing the actual thing. I took a pencil, took my sketchbook and just looked at images on um, Google images 
and just picked out things that jumped at me. So a tree that I liked the form of, um, um, a sun umbrella on a beach, uh, the shape of a mountain range, all those things. And this was such a fantastic practice because I could still do the, the, the training, you know, the part that the reason that you want to do the sketching. So to practice things, to try new things, to get your hands to work on new shapes for you. And there were like a few new shapes that I discovered that I love. But I didn't have to do all the stuff that I don't like to do, like printing the photos and picking the photos and making sure it's like copyright free because I wasn't copying any photo. I was just, you know, painting a tree in a photo. And this was so freeing. And then also in my sketchbook, I didn't have to worry about composition and I didn't have to draw things I didn't want to draw. And it just worked so well for my brain. You know, I filled a few pages with just like shapes that popped at me and things that jumped off the screen. And that is it. And at the end of it, I had these pages full of a start of something, trying stuff. I didn't have a pile of reference photos that I would keep for like years and then feel bad about throwing them. This is real, like true stories. Um, and it was great. So definitely looking forward to doing more of that. I would love to take my sketchbook out of the house with me more often. Um, so I will try and do that. And yeah, and today's paintings were inspired by some of those sketches. Um, the arches represent uh, some arches in Jerusalem, some of the tunnels next to the most holy places. And, you know, with my colors and palm trees and scribbles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye-bye.